peace and love. Hope all is well. Hope you're feeling safe and blessed and high vibrational. Now in this video, we'll be bringing forward messages and guidance for those under the sign of Pisces. And we'll just be having a look to see what energy has to present to you today. Now this is a general read, so the messages may or may not resonate. If they do, please feel free to like, share, subscribe and join the journey. On this channel, I also channel the energies of Mother Gaia, some Ascended Masters, as well as some celebrity energies who wish to assist us on our Earth journey. And you can take a look at those in the description, sorry, in the playlist. If you're looking for personal information, it's down below in the description box. Now Pisces, we're going to get straight into it with the Dreams of Gaia Tower. Okay, so we have the journey coming out. This is also giving me the energy of the Fool. Right now it's about you asking and not even asking, it's about you choosing what path you're going to be on. Now we have love at the bottom of the deck. This is letting me know that love is something that's heavy on your mind at the moment. And very much so that this decision that you are kind of deciding upon has to do with love. So I'm feeling that there's a choice, basically. And it's like, it could be a choice between two people or two options, but it's more so light and dark. And it's not so necessarily like one's a good choice, one's a bad choice. It's just that they are two very different energies, whatever this decision is between. But again, love. So it could be two different people. Or it could just be you kind of go back and forth between your mind space regarding this option or opportunity. But the journey, I just feel like there's going to be something that um, could possibly take off. It could be, again, the development of a love or a relationship. Okay, so we have the mask. Someone's mask's being re removed. And we also have this card. Right, what I'm getting with this is that somebody is hiding their emotions. Somebody's hiding their feelings. And it's about a, just a choice that they have to make. Now this can be you, but it could be the other person. I am getting that for many, it is actually the other person that is feeling this way. They are trapped within their emotion and they are wanting to remove the mask. They are wanting to reveal their true self to you, but they can't. It's almost that they can't even face their own emotions, never mind allowing somebody else to see their emotions when they can't even look at them themselves. Now, this person, it's kind of like they are being guided towards you. They are kind of being nudged energetically by their spirit team to maybe contemplate being with you or just being around you or just kind of having you in their mind space but there's a sense of them looking out looking out at possibility kind of trying to fathom what is possible between the two of you or in this situation again it could be you heavy within your mind space but it feels like there's a I'm hearing a desire there's a desire a longing a want a need Okay, now the journey's coming up. It's it's to do with this person and it's like... <sighs> okay. What I'm getting is that regardless, you're going to go forward with this person or with this choice or with this option. And it's almost like it's whether you are going to go with it in secret or whether you're going to go with it in the light, op being open and honest and truthful. Either way, there is energy of you still stepping forward into this new thing, whether that's a relationship with the person, whether that's just an opportunity, whether that's a work opportunity or just an advancement, but there's this energy of you stepping forward regardless, but it's about how open you're going to be or how exposed you're going to be. Yes. This could be talking about a same-sex relationship. Or it could also be talking about the um, balancing of masculine energies. Okay. Now I'm getting that the divine masculine is kind of fighting the divine feminine. Maybe the divine feminine in this situation is the one that's a bit, a bit more calm. The one that's more in touch with her emotions in this particular scenario where the divine feminine is being a bit more combative he's being a bit more i want to say he's trying to be a bit more controlling of his emotions rather than allowing his emotions to just flow and just be 
and just accept things the way they are. But both energies see one another, the divine masculine and the divine feminine. For some reason, this male is embodying the divine feminine, whereas this male is embodying the divine masculine. And it's that both see each other, both stay, stay directly in each other, but there's a sense of silence and a sense of telepathic communication or just speaking energetically or feeling one another on an energetic level rather than being in physical communication. Okay, I don't know whoever to or where I'm going to express the message. I'm getting the energy of when somebody is pleasuring themselves, that they are thinking about you or you are thinking about them or vice versa. There's a lot of sexual energy within this union, whether it's between a man and a woman or whether it's a same-sex relationship. But there's a lot of, um, sorry, um, lost within this relationship. Energy is also saying that there's a lot of things that have gone unsaid. And they're saying you have to be willing to turn over the cards. You have to be willing to see the truth. You have to be willing to hear the answers. They're saying equally you have to be willing to go after what you want. I'm also a Pisces and they're, they're saying, Benji, go after what you want. Okay. What else do we have for Pisces for April 2021? Balancing of the chakras, most definitely. The energy of Christ is also coming up again as well. I'm getting that basically for Pisces, our mind's going to be booming. They're saying that we're going to, there's incoming wisdom, incoming knowledge. There's also incoming stability for Pisces. There's something about our structure becoming firmer, more sturdy. Something about our connection to the stars or our connection to the galactics or space or something about that is making us more sturdy. There's something like light codes or Something knowledge, the hero. So, definitely, is incoming knowledge, incoming wisdom for Pisces. There's something about us being more connected to the stars and to, more connected to space for some reason. There's something about space and the galactics, but it's like light codes. But st the stars, is, I don't know what it is, but there's something about the stars and that making our structure stronger. But it's connected to light codes and information and channeled messages and guidance and, inf and knowledge, yeah. The hero. Energy is also saying to um, tame the ego a bit at this time. Okay, they're saying that we're going to need to put ourselves in check. Because Pisces, we are already very knowledgeable, already very wise. But they're just saying that we are going to become a little bit more regal. They're saying that we're, we're already given status in terms of like being the... Not the best of the zodiac, but like the most psychic of the zodiac, or the most connected of the zodiac, or the most mutable of the zodiac, or just embodying all the signs because we are Pisces at the end of the chart. But it's like in our expression, we are going to become even more. Like it's it's like saying even more Pisces like. 
it's and I just keep get being brought to like Christ and the energy of Christ. It's like the age of the fish are here again. The age of the fish or the age of the Pisces or something about the fish and the Pisces. But I was just getting the message of like it's almost like so yes, King of Water. That that's Pisces energy right there. Pisces energy right there. But I was getting the energy of like and it it, it may not be just so rigid, but it's saying that those that are of the Pisces in terms of the astro astrological sign, it's like they are the disciples of Christ. And again, obviously, you can have Pisces that are all di part of all different religions, obviously, but there's something about Pisces and its connection to Christ. King of Water. Literally, King of Water coming out. Pisces and its connection to Christ. It's like Christ is watching Pisces. Christ is with Pisces. Christ is working through Pisces. Christ is working with Pisces. They're saying Pisces is an embodiment of Christ. To be mutable, Christ is mutable because Christ is that of all things. Christ is a consciousness and Christ is a consciousness that was embodied in a man that was called Jesus. Christ is not Jesus. Jesus is Christ. That makes so much sense to me. For some reason, I really feel, and it's a bit short to end the video, but I just feel like that's where the video should be ended. Normally, I would pull oracle cards and close and clarify the read that way, but I just feel that that is where the video should end on that message. I thank you for joining. I thank you for being present with me. I send you my peace, my love, my gratitude. Peace and love. Ashe.